Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Today I am getting ready to go to Morgan Wallen's concert. He is here in Toronto tonight and I'm so excited to see him. I'm so obsessed with him and his music and I've just wanted to see him ever since his um, first album, Dangerous. That, that album is just like everything but one thing at a time is so good too. So I'm going with Matthew tonight and he is getting um, ready and then he's gonna pick me up at seven and then we're gonna take the go train down and we're gonna see him and I'm so excited. But yeah, I kind of wanted to take you guys along with me in the get ready with me process. I do my hair, I do my makeup and then I show you my outfit which I'm wearing right now and we also have some catch up chats because it's been so long since I've been able to speak with you guys in real time and just update you on my life and see how you guys are doing and tell you how I'm doing and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for this video. I feel like it turned out really well so without further ado let's just get on into it hello i am going to be blowing out my hair now i've been waiting for it to somewhat dry so that it's not soaking wet when i blow it out just because i feel like that would be better for my hair i have a little glass of pinot grigio of course because why not i feel like it just fits the vibe of going out and getting ready to go out, which is the best part of going out. I'm going to, I mean, I probably am going to film an intro, so you're probably already gonna know, but I'm going to Morgan Wallen tonight. And I'm really excited. I have not been to a concert since Gracie's concert in March, which I also filmed to get ready with me for, and a concert vlog, so if you wanna see that. I'll have it up on the screen. Um, I saw that people use chopsticks to eat chips so that they don't get their hands all dirty when they're doing their makeup. And like, what an insane revelation. My best friend May got me chopsticks and I use them all the time. I don't know if I'm holding them right, but I'm holding them well enough that they work. So that's what matters, but yeah. So I have my dill pickle, Miss Vicky's chips, and my Pinot Grigio, and I'm getting ready to blow out my hair with the Revlon blow dry, blow dry brush. Blow? Revlon dry brush? I don't know. But I'm doing that. I'm gonna put some Moroccan oil in my hair. Clearly we're not off to a great start, because this is like not gonna. Uh, but yeah, I like brushed it out a bit, and we'll just put some into Team the Frizz. And I'll probably speed through this part because this dry, this, bro, the, oh my lord, I can't speak today. <laughs> this blow dry brush is incredibly loud, so I'm going to just speed through this part and I can't even like listen to music or watch anything during it because it's so loud that I can't even hear anything. But yeah, so let's do that and then we'll get into the more fun and the quieter part of this video which would be the makeup oh. and like actually giving you guys life updates and chatting with you and stuff like that <laughs> done my hair my bangs are looking freaking insane because they're so long right now and I'm getting my hair cut in 10 days from today so today's the, the 16th and I'm getting my hair cut on the 26th and I'm getting bangs like I'm getting full-on bangs I did my I got curtain bangs in Paris which I'm obsessed with that vlog if you guys want to go and watch that it was such a great memory but 
I impulsively just got bangs in Paris, side curtain bangs in Paris with um, somebody that didn't, didn't speak English. So we just kind of, I really put a lot of faith into that um, salon and it was an, an amazing experience. So I really, really liked having curtain bangs, but now my, they're very grown out now. Like they're very long. So when I blow them out, I feel like they just look kind of weird. Um, so I'm very excited to get those done but I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender and then we can actually start doing the makeup for the concert. Sometimes I feel like I should do my makeup before my bangs or for my yeah before my bangs or something because now I'm like I kind of have to work around my bangs when I'm putting my makeup on but let us do it. I'm gonna start with my moisturizer of course I just use the ordinary natural moisturizing factors and I really like it. It's really lightweight and it's very cheap, which is always nice um, when a skincare product like works with your skin and helps your skin, but it's not a million dollars. That's always a huge bonus. But I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in so long because every single one of my videos recently has been Vid like there have been videos that have been backlogged for a while and that I just need to catch up on editing Like I have so many videos filmed that I need to edit But I can only really post once a week So I have like all my Europe vlogs, which I've been putting out one by one so far um, I put out my niece and my Paris vlogs if you want to see those and then I still have three Italy vlogs that are gonna be coming out soon but um, Yeah, and then after that like once those are out I can kind of start I'm like really struggling because there's like nothing left in this primer so I'm really just scraping the edges of the glass bottle but once I put those out I'll probably finally be able to start filming in real time although I do have one fall video that I'm planning on filming tomorrow because I just really want to get into the fall spirit I haven't really been in the fall spirit which who am I I feel like I usually get into it really early and I'm just not I'm not there so I think if I do some fall things tomorrow actually I will force myself to kind of get more into the spirit and then I'll go back to uploading my Italy vlogs and soon those will all be out and then I'll be back to filming in real time and actually chatting about my like day-to-day -day life with you guys but the only big thing that has really changed in my life recently is that I got a full-time job and if you've seen my um like new year's planning video that I did on notion in the beginning of the year you'll see that one of my new year's resolutions was actually to get a full-time job and in that video it was like to get a full-time remote job but this one is not a full-time remote job and yet I'm so happy it's not because I really just enjoy where I work and I love talking to people and I love meeting people and I really like all the people that I work with which is oh I got foundation in my hair that's cool I'm gonna put these back then um I really like the people that I work with and so it's actually better that it's not remote so I guess that's just a lesson where sometimes you want something but the universe actually knows best and will give you what will be better for you but yeah, so since I've been working full time, I work seven to three every day. I wake up at 5 a.m. and I go to bed at like nine in order to get to my full eight hours of sleep. And it's been really fun, it's been nice, but also I just don't really have time for myself as much anymore or like time to go out with my friends. So it's kind of been a balancing act of trying to fit in me time, but also trying to fit in social life and just like my habits and all that stuff. So we're figuring it out day by day and that's really why I can only film or I can only upload one video a week like I just know that even one video a week is sometimes difficult but I know that it's possible I think more than that is just setting myself up for failure and I really just want to be able to get one video a week every Sunday just upload a video for you guys and it's been it's been working so far so yeah, that's also why it's just like taking me longer to put out all of the backlog videos that I have because I can only really go one week at a time. But yeah, so I mean, if you guys have watched my channel, you'll know that I'm an actor. So I, that's, that's like my career aspiration and what I've been working towards for a really long time. And 
right now the actors are on strike the actors union and so are the writers so this whole year there hasn't really been a lot of work at all which is why i'm working full time because it was just the perfect time to decide to work full time and make a little bit of money while i'm not filming anything and while i'm not really auditioning for anything either so we'll see where those strikes go and when those will end um it's hard to tell at this point but i'm taking things day by day and i feel like the universe really just has a plan and i think that if you just like let go of control and resistance you will end up being where you're meant to be as a coordinator for um, U of T, which is amazing because that's where I went to school and I have genuinely missed being on campus so much and I just love, I don't know, I just love that vibe of academia and I really loved school when I was a student and I remember working at the university when I was a student as well as like a part-time student worker and then when COVID hit i lost that job and you know everything went remote and then after that i graduated and you know that era of my life ended and i always really really missed it like i had always really wanted to go back to campus i'd always wanted to see if there was a place for me somehow somewhere so it just felt like this job was so i don't even know like serendipitous or whatever it just felt really aligned and so yeah, I've been really enjoying being on campus and the dark academia vibes in the fall time of course are also very, very um, fun. I like literally read on campus all the time. Like I'm always reading on my break. My coworkers are always like, oh my God, what are you reading? What are you always like underlining in your books and stuff? It's really funny. <clears throat> but yeah, and then um, speaking of acting, I actually am filming a, I booked a short film um, that I'm gonna be filming on Friday, so a week from now basically and I'm very excited. It's gonna be fun I didn't expect to book it to be honest I kind of just like did the audition and sent it in and didn't think twice Which I feel like those are always the ones that you book It's always the ones that you don't really like think about much like you do it and then you send it in and that's it and those are always the ones that end up being aligned with you i guess it's very strange but yeah so that's gonna be fun because i haven't really like done a lot of acting in a very long time it's been a while since i mean i last time i was on set it was in i want to say on july it was july and that was and that didn't even have like a lot of script in it it was a lot of improv so this is actually like i have lines and i get to analyze the script and the character even though it's a smaller, it's a short film, it's a smaller role, it's still gonna be really fun, which I'm excited about. But yeah, I don't know, I feel like my life has been so different recently, but in, in a really great way. I just think I'm, I, I feel like I'm really in the moment, like I'm really present, I'm really not thinking about, I don't think I have the time really to think too much about the past or the future, and I just think that that is like the best place to be in. Um, in terms of not thinking too much about the past and the future and just thinking like okay this is today and that's really it and like i think that that's like the best way to manifest what's meant for you in your life is to just like go with the flow and see where the water takes you i guess is that, is that what the quote is like see where the wave see where the wave takes you see where the current takes you yeah something like that but you know what i mean so yeah it's been really fun I've also really, really enjoyed just shopping and like buying clothes that I can wear to work. I really love like the cute corporate girly aesthetic. I've been buying so much from Abercrombie, which I'm actually gonna put um, a haul of all of the stuff that I've bought recently in my next video. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. It's like all the fall fashion that I've been purchasing recently. And honestly, like my favorite 
part of going to work is feeling really cute in a really cute outfit with like really nice makeup and my hair done. I just think that getting ready for the day is a surefire way to have a good day or at least a better day if you're not having a great day. I really do feel my best when I look my best. So putting together really cute corporate outfits where you're like that corporate girl, but you're like that hot corporate girl. People are like, wow, she's really hot. She's also like so classy and put together and wearing like such nice professional clothing. I don't know, I just, I'm really vibing with that aesthetic recently. Does my nostril look weird today? It's a really weird thing to notice. and I usually just put my bronzer in my crease and call it a day. <laughs> but you know what, like why not? It's been a while. So I'm taking out this probably expired soft glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, also, I've been slacking on eating these chips. Just don't really struggle. Um, I've been obsessed with Olivia Rodrigo's new album, Guts. If you haven't seen my reaction with my best friend May, um, it's on my channel and yeah, it was really fun to react to it. Well, I've been listening nonstop. I'm very excited to see Morgan Wallen. I really do love him. I honestly, I won't lie, I really liked his, the album before he dropped this album. I really like Dangerous a lot more than the newest album. So I'm hoping he does play a bunch of songs from that album. Um, obviously he's gonna play songs from his new album too, but if he just, you know, plays a mix of both, I would be very, very happy. I know he'll definitely play like the really popular ones. I know he's gonna play Chasing You and like those those songs, which are great. But I'd love to hear like, what is it, 865? 865? I think it's 865. Maybe I should be listening to Morgan Wall instead of Olivia Rodrigo right now, actually. I don't know why I'm listening to live when i'm getting ready to go to a morgan wallen concert <laughs> it reminds me of when may and i went to five seconds of summer concert last year and we played rihanna while we were getting ready and then we were like wait why are we listening to rihanna when we're going to see five seconds of summer <laughs> i also don't even know what to wear it's been kind of cold recently i mean like colder i guess not really it's like in the 20s um but i get really cold really easily so i'm probably just gonna wear jeans and a cute top and then like my cowboy boot my cowboy boots and my cowboy hat i think so i guess it doesn't even matter how good my hair looks since i'm going to be wearing a hat anyways wow i freaking hate i hate eyeshadow i'm not looking cute i need to dab some off from oh that's perfect love a beauty wonder moment yeah that's so much better okay so much more subtle I'm very much into like the subtleties when it comes to makeup because it's just less outside of my comfort zone. But yeah. I don't know if I told you guys this, but seeing concerts, your girl got Eras tour tickets. I feel like I haven't, I don't remember again, like it's been so long since I've actually had like real time chats with you guys and talked to you guys about my day to day life, but. I was one of like the only, I'm the only person that I personally know who bought a code to purchase Eras, Eras tour tickets in Toronto and then I ended up actually purchasing them, like I was able to get tickets even though, because I know some people got a code and then they weren't able to get tickets, but no, I got, I was able to get tickets in the 100 level, um, which is where we wanted to be and I got tickets for me, May, and then my other two best friends, Priya and Chloe. And we're like all so excited for next year when we get to go to this concert and like we're just so grateful and blessed because we know that like not a lot of people were able to get these tickets. So the fact that I somehow managed to manifest a code and it was so funny too because 
I think like most most people felt like this, but I was so confident that I was gonna get a coat. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get a coat. Everybody's gonna get a coat. Like, you know, it's whatever. And then when I saw that like people were like, my friends were messaging me and they're like, I didn't get a coat. Did you get a coat? I got waitlisted. I was like, I got a coat. Like I knew I was gonna get a coat. And then I saw that nobody got a coat and I was just shocked at how insanely lucky I ended up being to get one. And also how funny it was, how confident I was that I was gonna get one and that like most people were gonna get one. The song was written about me. Here's my anxious bellies. I just like ran to Shoppers Drug Mart like right before my shower to buy any mascara because I don't know where mine went. So, you know. I mean, at least it was like almost pretty much done. I was going to have to restock soon. But yeah, you know. Alright, finally we can do the lips. Look at how tiny my <laughs> lip liner is. I really need to restock this lip liner. It's like, I go through these so fast. These Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liners. They're just my favorite, but like it's just kind of, I wish it was like a retractable instead of a sharper, sharper, sharpener lip liner. Alright. And then I'm also running really low on this lip bumper, but we'll do what we can. That is the makeup and the hair. The mascara helped with the eyes, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, now I have to just put on my outfit, so I'll show you guys what I end up wearing. Okay, so I am going to put on my outfit. I think I'm just going to be wearing blue jeans, which is, I feel like, a safe country music festival or concert pair of pants to wear, I guess. And then I have on this cute little black top with tie detail, and this is just, um, it's long sleeve, but it's thin, so I won't be too hot, but I'll also have a little bit of cover if it gets really cold at night and then I have my cowboy boots which I'll show you and my cowboy hat so let me get on to that and then I'll show you the final look. This is the outfit. I have on these blue jeans from Abercrombie. This belt is my mom's so I'm not sure where it's from. This top was from my friend Chloe. She gave it to me but I know that I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I actually don't know where it might be from but I've seen this like everywhere. You might, you'd probably be able to get it at any store really. I have on my Cowboy boots, of course. These are from Corel, which is like a boots, handcrafted boots and hat store in Toronto. And then I have my hat from the same place. Or like, they're from that store, but the brand is Corel. And then I have on my hat, which I don't know if I want that or not. I think it's a vibe. But yeah, this is the final outfit. And this is the final look for the Murray Mullen concert today. I'm gonna to take you guys along with me to the actual concert and vlog a little bit, show you guys some concert clips because I definitely want to have this as a memory for myself, but also show you guys what it's like to be at a Morgan Wallen concert. I feel like it's gonna be really, really fun, but I'm happy with how the look turned out. I feel really cute and yeah, I'm just really ready to go and jam out to Morgan Wallen tonight. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, leave a comment down below telling me what concert you last went to or what concert you have coming up that you're looking forward to make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos especially my fall video coming up and then all of my italy vlogs that are upcoming as well i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>
Chasing you. Chasing you. 